Hi, I'm Senator Betsy Close, and I'm announcing on this beautiful October day that I'm going <laughs> to run for my seat. I'm filing for office tomorrow for Senate District 8, Oregon Senate District 8. Um, I had a great year. I was appointed exactly one year ago to the day almost, and I've already had two special sessions and one regular session. It's been very busy, but I've enjoyed the time very much. Senator, uh, assuming uh, you get the chance to serve another full term, what do you hope to accomplish? What's your main thing you hope to accomplish? Well, we have a district that's very agricultural, and it's also, um, there's a lot of stress on education. Oregon State is uh, one of the top ag resource, uh, research colleges in the nation. A lot of important research going on there. We want to make sure students have access. Um, we want to make sure tuition is affordable. We want to help students achieve their goals there. Also, Lynn Benton Community College is uh, stressing workforce development, and they're stressing uh, vocational technical education, especially with alternative fuel vehicles. And they have a brand new center, and we want to support that with our dollars because it will make Oregon a good trading state. What's, what sort of legislation are you thinking of that might help students or might help these colleges? Well, I did vote against the last tuition increase. Um, I think we need to try to hold those, those costs down. I advocated for the, the higher education budget. It's always been a little bit underfunded, so we've tried to get a bigger piece of the pie for higher ed, but also for the community colleges. Um, I have a bill for the special session you might be interested in. It's um, something Lynn County is doing, and they are paying for a training wage for uh, students 15 to 19 who ha ha are having trouble getting their first job. And so they pay the first $2 an hour of the minimum wage to employers to train that student. And they have contracts with the county. So I want to take that statewide and use lottery dollars so that every county can do that. Senator, what kind of a campaign do you expect? Well, mine are always rough and tumble, and uh, <laughs> they're a lot of hard work, but you'll hear a, a good discussion of the issues. Um, my opponent, who has filed already, has a, a very different voting record than I do, so you, there will be a clear choice in this election, and I think you'll hear a lot about it in the next year to come. Have you spoken to her? Uh, we're talking about Representative Sarah Gelser, a Democrat from uh, Corvallis. Yes. Have you spoken to her about this campaign? I have. We both were, were before Greater Corvallis Rotary on Friday. We were both speaking, and we both agreed that this wasn't personable, personal and that, um, you know, we both would run a hard race, but we are friends. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was